Ho, ho, ho! Merry Vlogmas! Hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the channel. My name's Griffin, and this is Griffin Projects, day number eight of Vlogmas. And it's pretty exciting because we're almost to double digits. Also exciting because it's the very first episode of a series that I'm starting called the five minute check-in. The five minute check-in being a series where I tell you about something that I purchased that I either love or hate and whether you should buy it and kind of just my thoughts and feelings in the competitor landscape, that type of thing. So let's get started with this. This of course being the Harbor Freight Fortress Ultra Quiet 26 gallon max 175 PSI air compressor. And now I must say, ultra quiet in air quotes because this thing's rated for 69 decibels on Harbor Freight's website. We're going to come back to that, but first let's talk about its nearest competitor. Cobalt makes a quiet tech 26 gallon max 150 PSI air compressor, which actually I think looks better because it's in matte black. Generally, if you put them both side by side, they are almost identical. So why did I end up with this one? Now, you might remember, I bought this one during Vlogmas last year. I didn't really talk about specs that much and I didn't really give my opinion because it was brand new. And it wasn't like super helpful, but hopefully this video will be and it will get the Nick Myers stamp of approval. When they're both on sale, the price is negligible. Right now, you can get this on sale at Harbor Freight around Chicago for $350. The Quiet Tech from Cobalt at Lowe's, also on sale right now for $340. Let's revisit the naming of these machines, right? This is the Ultra Quiet. Don't get me wrong, this thing is quieter than my last air compressor. The last air compressor I had was like four or five gallon little barrel one that you can roll around. It was great. Shot pin nails like a champ. Fantastic little air compressor. I put it up on Craigslist, it was gone in like one hour. Definitely well wanted piece of machinery, but I needed a bigger air compressor mainly for finish work using an HVLP gun. The four to five gallon air compressor that I had before just wasn't cutting it. What wasn't in the budget was a Fuji system, which I would absolutely love, but let's visit the whole quiet topic. Now, you can't get these expecting that they're gonna be ultra quiet, because they just simply are not. When this thing turns on, you definitely hear it, but it is not like, hey, what's up, blah, 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 like that. Like, you are you can actually have a conversation. Like, I would put this somewhere around like vacuum territory, maybe even a little bit quieter. But to dig a little deeper into this, I went ahead and downloaded a decibel meter for my phone. As you can see, it is about 80 decibels. This. This machine on the website is rated at 69 decibels. Now, I don't know what microphone or what their scenario is where they test that, but I could not get it close to 69 decibels. 80 decibels was probably like 80, 78. Like you can see me walking around. I'm trying to find and get down to 69. I, could, I couldn't get there personally. Now, I will say some of these things are rattling really, really loud. Like the tops here are plastic. There's some definitely rattling going on, which does seem to affect it. Like I kind of like held these down a little bit. It did seem to decrease it by like almost two decibels, which is pretty substantial. So something that I will probably look into, but to be honest with you, it's such an improvement of the last air compressor and it's just not that loud. It just isn't. I haven't really felt a need to have to do that personally right now. In conclusion, would I buy this again and would I recommend it? That's ultimately probably why you're here, unless you're following Vlogmas, in which case I would say thank you so much for subscribing. But the answer to that question, both of them, is yes. I would totally recommend these. In fact, I'm pretty sure I have recommended this one before at least two or three times in the last year. It has done everything that I've ever wanted it to do here in the shop. So I would say 100% for 350 bucks, which is what you can get it for right now on sale at Harbor Freight. I would say pull the trigger, do it, get it. Let me know down below how you like it once you get it set up and you use it a few times. I would love to hear it. With that, thanks for tuning in to the first five minute check in here on my channel. It is, of course, day number eight of Vlogmas as well, which if you're not subscribed, make sure you subscribe down below and I will see you tomorrow. Bye.